Dr. Anita Raj, your chemistry mentor, welcoming you for one more session in solid state. In this session, we shall see the problems related to the distance between two neighboring atoms in an ion cell. Okay. Let us read the first problem. If A stands for the edge length of the cubic systems, simple cubic, body center cubic and face center cubic, then the ratio of radii of the spheres in these systems will be respectively. See here in this problem they have given three uh, different types of uh, uh, cubic system simple cubic, body center cubic and face center cubic and they are uh, given they have given the edge length that is A. Okay? So edge length for all these cubic systems is said to be A. Okay? And uh, what else is given us? See, uh, they are asking you to find out the ratio of radii of the spheres in this system. Spheres, they mean the atoms, okay, they mean atoms, okay, atoms are considered as spheres in this uh, cubic system. So, uh, in this problem, they are asking you to write the ratio of radii of these atoms present in the simple cubic system, body center cubic system and face center cubic system, okay. So, to answer these type of questions, you should be thorough with the values which relates the radii or and uh, edge length. Okay. Cubic system for a simple cubic system. See the uh, that is the edge length is related to the radii as a is equal to 2r, where a represents the edge length and r represents the radii. See when you when if you want the radii value, then this equation goes like this: r is equal to a by 2. Understood, students. And next comes BCC, that is body centered cubic system. See how this edge length is related to R, that is a radii A root 3 is equal to 4R. So when you are in need of R, R is equal to root 3 by 4 into A. Okay, so this is how. And next one is face centered cubic system. For face centered cubic system, the edge length is related to R with this formula a is equal to root 2 into 8 r square. So, when you simplify this, this becomes a is equal to 2 root 2 r. Okay. So, then if you are in need of r, then this becomes r is equal to a by 2 root 2. Understood students? See, these values, these values, this is r value, all these r values will be calculating while calculating the packing efficiency of FCC, BCC, FCC. Okay. See now, if you want all these, uh, if you want to know about this, uh, I shall give the link of the video which explains the packing efficiency of FCC, BCC and FCC in my description box. You can just go through it. Okay. Now, the next thing we are in need of uh, is the ratio of the radii. Is it not? The question asked is how to find out the ratio of radii of the spheres in this system. Okay. So, let us write for SCC now. What is the radii value? It is A by 2. Is it not? So, for SCC, the required ratio is A by 2. And next comes, what is the next one asked? It is body center cubic. Is it? And next comes face center. So, let us write the radii for the body center that is root 3 by 4 a okay and the next one is a by 2 so this is how we should find out the answer understood students i shall show you a tablet column which relates this edge length with that of the radii and also the distance between the two nearest atoms now okay so this is the uh, tablet column which relates this uh, r value with that of uh, a value that is edge length and r value that is r is equal to a by 2 okay and this is another value r is equal to root 3 by 4 a that is for bcc and for fcc it is r is equal to a by 2 root 2 understood students and this is d what is d it is the distance between the nearest neighboring atoms how to calculate d see when you multiply this radii with 2 you will be getting the d value okay so if you are multiplying a by 2 into 2 you will be getting a likewise the same root 3 by 4 into 2 you will be getting 2, 3 by 2, A. So, this is how you should calculate the distance between the nearest neighboring atoms. So, you should be thorough with this uh, uh, tablet column to do this type of, I uh, only then you can do the problems related to this type of uh, question. Okay, the next problem students, an element A has face center cubic structure with edge length equal to 361 picometer. The apparent radius of atom A is, see they are given in the problem that 
this element A is having the phase centered cubic structure and its edge length is also given that is 361 picometer and we are asking you to find out the radius of the atom A. Okay. So, let me write the given data first. A is that is edge length is equal to 361 picometer and the structure is FCC. Okay. And we are asking you to find out R. Okay. So, as I told you earlier in the previous table of column, we have seen that the uh, value which relates the radius, okay, the value which relates the radius with that of the edge length is A by 2 root 2 for FCC. Is not. Now, we can directly substitute the value of edge length here, 361 divided by 2 into what is root 2, it is 1.414, okay. So, what is the value? It is 127.414. 6 picometer. See, this problem is very easy and what we can do this type of problems only if you are thorough with this relationship which relates radii with the edge length. Understood students? Okay, the next problem students. Sodium metal exists in BCC unit cell. The distance between the nearest sodium atom is 0 0.368 nanometer. The edge length of the unit cell is See here in this problem they have given that sodium metal uh, structure that is BCC and D value is given the distance between the nearest sodium atom is given and they are asking you to find out the edge length of the unit cell. Okay? So let us write the given data first. Okay? So what is D now? It is 0 0.368 nanometer. Okay? What is the type of crystal given? It is BCC that is body centered. Okay? So, for body centered, which is the formula which relates the uh, distance between the nearest atom with that of the edge length, it is equal to D is equal to root 3 by 2 into A. So, now you might have understood why that tabular column is much important, is it not? Only if you know these formulas, it is possible to do the problem. So, you should be thorough, okay? Now, let us uh, reshuffle the formula A. We are in need of A, that is edge length, is it not? A is equal to D into 2 divided by root 3. Okay. So now substitute the value as such. What is D value? It is 0 0.368 into 2. And what is uh, root 3 value? It is 1.73. Okay. So the answer, simplified answer is 0 0.425 nanometer. Understood students? Read the next problem. Sodium metal crystallizes in body centered cubic lattice with cell edge 4.29 angstrom unit. What is the radius of the sodium atom? See here they are asking you to find out the radius from the edge length and the uh, substance given is sodium metal and it is having a body centered cubic structure. Okay. Let us write the given data now. A is equal to 4.29 angstrom unit and yeah, it is having a BCC structure. Okay. Now for BCC structure what is the formula which relates the edge length with that of uh, the radius? It is a, a root 3 is equal to 4 R. Okay. So, R is equal to A into root 3 by 4. Okay. So, the substitute the value of A now. It is 4.29 into 1.732 divided by 4. Okay. So, the value is 1.857 angstrom. Okay. If you want to have a simplified value, it is 1.86 angstrom. Understood students? Fine students, you might have understood how to calculate the radius and the distance between two neighboring atoms if the edge length is given. I shall meet you with another important topic within a short period. Until then, it's Dr. Anita signing off from me. Thanks for watching.